Hello, beta testers. <laughs> well, would you look at that? We are not stepping into a new era. We have been here for over a year now. You, beta tester, either stumbled into, awoke suddenly in, or were aggressively pushed into this uncharted grid that's expanding in every procedurally generated direction. If things up until now have only allowed us to be rats in a maze of a faceless creator's design, this new patch brings us no clip ability. The ability to select our class, the ability to create our own mazes with Sims tier god abilities over all that are inside. But maybe that all sounds a little dramatic, so let's ease in. 22 years ago, developer Bungie released Halo Combat Evolved in 2001. And by 2004, Halo 2 introduced skulls. These items enabled modifiers like enemies throwing more grenades or, in the case of a skull with the acronym IWHBYD or I would have been your daddy, it would unlock rare combat audio that didn't typically play to give fans who might be beating the brakes off of this and maybe speed running a chance at dialogue that maybe most people hadn't heard a nice touch but my favorite skull was grunt birthday party the shorty dweeb pipsqueaks of halo were these little grunt bastards and if you had the skull enabled and got a headshot confetti would explode out and the sound of children exclaiming yay would play what i didn't realize at the time is that I was witnessing the birth of a microtransaction so powerful as bait to competitive gamers that over time, some of these games would just boil down to selling people skins, weapons, and animations. Halo understood that a body shot wouldn't have been as satisfying as a headshot. Halo understood that a teabag is fine, but... If the body had physics to flop up and down in reaction to the teabag, this is excellence. Few things are more satisfying than ragdolling body physics and the jiggle physics we have available today. Let me put it to you like this. The worst shooter in the world could come out right now if it nailed teabagging and jiggly body physics post death for us to kind of mess with that body. That would sell confetti bursting out and children exclaiming after a headshot, jiggle physics teabag, long animation executions from behind, extremely gay and exaggeratedly prissy prances in the way of an emote after a kill in Fortnite. What if I accidentally tripped in your direction and just grabbed at your jaw and ripped it off? But oh, oh no, even fatalities have to be more toned down because sexy women are now too problematic for Ed Boon. So towards my point, lazy people have been dividing you and forcing no choice. But I'm here to remind you, there is always a choice, including not choosing or funding something you're aware of without me needing to tell you if mortal kombat won't offer it street fighter will what the horse won't the car will what radio didn't the tv did as blockbuster hasn't netflix has gaming i'm begging you i dare you be the inferior choice because these days people are more than willing to choose nothing over you and i love it beta testers the tides have turned and it was never a xbox versus playstation thing it was a us versus them thing you decide what good is and the online talking head shills are realizing that if you don't represent what people actually feel then you're of no use 
as a gamer into competition exclusively for the opportunity to teabag the absolute Nancys that are taking the scoreboard out of the shooters? Jeez, man. I offer this gaming perspective to anyone from the outside because as the biggest gun game in the world is so ignorant that it quote, doesn't want to punish shooters in the shooter, so too has media removed the dinosaur from Jurassic Park. Snow White but no dwarves and the ugly jealous queen is actually prettier than Snow White and Prince won't be saving and it's not about true love and the actor can't keep her bitch mouth shut online blaming men when she herself claimed that all of the man scenes could get edited out of the movie cause it's Hollywood baby. Was she the victim even though she was dogpiling on Gina Carano? Cause she had a different opinion. So when somebody else got an opinion that you think is dumb, dogpile good. But when you have a dumb opinion that everybody doesn't think is good, dogpile bad. Moron. Hypocrite. Far-eyed thought. I'm 100% serious when I say I'm thankful for Rachel Zegler wearing her No More Tears to Cry shirt cause she can't take what she dishing out. And she should be able to, millionaire, you know what I mean? But she is a gift to highlight the overpaid, talentless hacks, eager to jump on a soapbox and tell you how you should live your life and what they deserve, bitch. Through education, we informed one another on State Street, Vanguard, BlackRock, and CEO Larry Fink's rapey need to force his ESG on people. He had trillions to waste to make people arch that back. But now customers have learned to recognize, have made ESG DEI woke a bad word, and will choose literally anything else. Congratulations. It's not over, but it's progress. The real kind of progress, not what they call progress. The current power went so woke that they have fumbled control and sacrificed so vital a tool as their means of effective brainwashing the masses. They are a flock now with no shepherd, so we'll be the shepherds. ESG money established a stranglehold on culture by offering literal trillions to whomever would fall in line and in so force the death of a tool that they could easily have retained for another century to keep influencing with their message. If they had simply exercised restraint and if they had been humble enough to actually listen in the midst of evaporating money, but they could not. And in their defense, many, many of them have been ass wipes their entire lives and have had no reason to accept or believe that suddenly being stubborn ass wipes was, you know, going to be their downfall. Things have gotten so bad that much of what we know currently only continues to exist because there is literally no competition that changes now. Investors, and for the sake of this video, Vanguard, are backing the hell out of this ESG nonsense. In the background footage from upcoming releases that have captured my attention, Space Marines 2, The First Descendant, Stellar Blade, Crimson Desert, Project Mugen. Fortnite, The First Descendant, and Project Mugen will be free and offer the jiggle physics-centric appeal that the West has historically denied everyone because... If they could, I'm sure they'd establish another prohibition. You, sexy beta tester, have been the unwilling target of a campaign by lazy hacks in media and the gaming industry to lower the bar so far that ugly is what they hope to make the baseline. Man-like is what they demand you accept a woman to be, but that's not enough. Many more of your unconscious biases must be addressed to challenge your perception. Bro, in entertainment? <laughs> Why the hell? Are you not at least attempting subtlety? Why do you think people will accept this? And the answer, of course, is that they are that out of touch. To be blunt, people these days are so exhausted that they can't even muster the outrage that these freaks deserve. These blatantly child-obsessed weirdos ruining Disney, poisoning media with stale feminist 
and identity politics messages proudly flaunting their radical trans circle jerking groups that seek specifically to yank the steering wheel in the direction of a tree with every product that they touch and they're willing to flail and go nuts if they don't get their way but ironically when they do get their way it leads to things crashing and burning anyway you've had your decade to shit the bed when people hear this we're here we're 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 coming for you know even then, they sleep. But trying to shame men and demonize femininity to the point of censoring pretty, this marks you as another Bud Light. Remember developer Volition? They shut down recently after their buggy garbage flop Saints Row could not sell. They argued with fans, claimed haters gonna hate to anyone disagreeing with changes, and were very vocal about how if you didn't like this new slop, then you were a toxic non-fan. That's exactly what the Mortal Kombat developers said about any fans taking issue with the woke, ESG-soaked, anti-sexy women exclusively approach to that franchise as of late. This anti-service approach when expecting people to fund you is quite the gamble and I hope that it pays off. I consider it the warp digivolved version of a woman's unsightly unshaved armpit, you know, thrust in our face for the last 10 years. And the only response from us of course is, bitch do your thing, I, you know, live how you want, I don't care man, why does, why does it have to be in my face though? And the worst part is, at least back then it was a biological woman, so it was like, ooh, but now it's just, you know, it's a man, so that's, that's like normal. And y'all getting mad at us because we're not grossed out enough because if we regarded it as a woman's armpit, it would be gross and the fact that it's fine means that we're a bigot look look how funny this analogy is the same people desperately trying to convince us they're tortured and oppressed and that they know sadness would know the value of laughter and how potent it is as our best medicine you can't imitate humanity enough to at least feign an understanding of what it is that we're into and what we like so you don't deserve your place giggity get the fuck up out of here man Saints Row is a poster child for the imaginary modern audience that diminished and downgraded women exclusively, failed to reinvent wheels, lazily underdelivered while overcharging, and ticked boxes of woke, uh, quirky, and just 24 7 Tumblr writing to turn a literal gang of thugs into a Reddit group of LARPers. The game did so poorly that it is being given away on PlayStation Plus as it raises its prices in a truly baffling synergy. What a time. You look at Mortal Kombat with its ugly, covered up women. Cause the pussies making modern games paradoxically regard women as too weak to withstand the sight of attractive women. We're doing it for you. Yeah, they're buying that, but they're literally not buying it. Figuratively, they're not buying it either. It was sarcasm, but they're literally not buying it. You look at Call of Duty and it's disbanding every lobby, drowning out your fun with SBMM, changing the audio and gun performance between matches for people. And now they're planning AI to censor conversations in game, guaranteeing that most won't even risk getting banned on malfunctioning and untested garbage because we are the testers. They're never prepared. These price hikes and subscription services, they're happening across the board. But does it feel like they're offering more as they charge you more? Or does it feel like you're getting less? You're seeing kitty cat and bunny and wolf skins and monkey man skins because I guess Call of Duty is just trying to catch up to Fortnite. These freaks are willing to celebrate intimacy with a bear, but a feminine biological woman is where they draw the line. I'm not upset with Baldur's Gate for existing, do your thing. What upsets me is the hypocrisy, knowing that the kryptonite is a woman that doesn't have broad shoulders, a chiseled jaw, or flat chest. No matter how hard they try to erase gender, sex sells and ugly repels. I'm going to show you this picture and ask you if you notice anything. 
the ESG has fallen, and the goblins that have been ruining everything are being ousted for their clear hatred of actual equality. If things were equal, I wouldn't have to fight so hard for girls to just be fucking pretty in game, but here we are, and hopefully things can change. I, uh, I'll give you the hint here <laughs> with this image. For those of you supporting and have made it this far in the schizo ramble, I, I love you. Thank you. Please jiggle on into the Discord and uh, help me stay aware of all of this stuff. And leave a comment letting me know what you're seeking. I wonder if I should talk about Starfield. I feel like that game's going to be crap, but, you know, people liked Skyrim and that was just a, a dumbed down version of the... Fuck me.